abandoned my wife and I'm covered in blood from the love of my life what have I ever done to deserve to be punished like this in this miserable world so I challenge you God can you show me your face cause now more than ever I would welcome your grace but you don't give a damn you don't care She carried her heart of the noblest gold Like a proof of her loving and generous soul There are no words that explain or define The meaning and joy she bestowed on my life From the first time I saw her I knew then and there The love we shared was eternal and fair Then she smiled her crooked smile And stroked my tousled hair with you by my side, I always felt strong In all the strifes of our life, by your side was where I belong It was always meant to be you and me, as we shared each other's destiny I was you Although life has been difficult and poor We never had any reason, no time to deplore One beautiful day you proudly declared That our magical kingdom soon would get a little air But God has decided and so it shall be So he takes everything that is sacred to me Well then, this is my very last prayer a little cry Can it really be true A poor little soul who refuses to die My heart is broken and I'm torn up inside You gave your own life for the bless of a child With my tousled hair and your crooked smile In the midst of my grief, a streak of light did appear Hush, little girl, I will always be near We will honor your mom every step of our way And remember her smile when our life feels gray When you're looking at me with your eyes sparkling blue I realize now what I always knew Yes, I know our dreams can come true you are she She is you Officers here? <laughs> no, brilliant. Then you are here, dressed up and ready to go. 
That's great. I have to say, you look absolutely adorable, smashing considering where we're going. Sorry, ma'am. No, no. No, don't worry. Your dress will blend in just fine. As will you. Oh, sorry, sir. You're about to enter one of London's famous rookeries. Well, it isn't famous yet. But through the next century, the world will listen to gruesome stories from these neighborhoods. You see, not far from here, in an area just like this, Jack the Ripper soon will commit his infamous murders. You don't have to worry. It's at least another 20 years until then. So be careful and make sure you're out before darkness falls. So welcome to enter, enter, enter at your own risk. Some tricks with knives and sticks in the rookery. Don't stop to catch your breath. You get cholera and death in the rookery. And when a fierce little guy shoves the for your eye, you said it be. There's really not much to do. Here's nine pence. Are you listening? What? Here's nine pence. Is that enough? You know what they say. Many a mickle makes a muckle. Yes, I know what I say, but I don't know what it means. It means that one day we can afford a place of our own. You will be a world-famous singer. I will be a well-known composer. You will tour the world. We will live in a mansion with servants and animals. Here's nine pence. Maybe we can buy an apple. An apple today? Tomorrow we've got an apple tree. You see, we must never give up on our dreams. It's just a matter of time before I write something that people want. I'm close to something, and I think it will do it. So what I'm gonna do? It's so boring all the times that you're working. There are no boring days. There are no funny days either. There are only days. It's up to you to make them boring or fun. 
and unfortunately I have to work sometimes so we at least can afford something to eat. told you, you shouldn't be out alone. Oh shit! Come on, we got to go! It's okay, here. I'll take you home.
brain. May I propose you write him a letter? Or even better, if you two together just get it done. See, it doesn't really matter if it's him or some other lucky one. They're all out just to get a little fun. And when they get her, their forget her has begun. To hide the scars in her soul, I heard how she cried when he harmed her deep down inside. My heart turned cold. One night I held her in my arms when life faded. I was only a child, scared and lonely, tried to show pride, but felt only fear, just to get by, any man could use me. For the rest of my life, hell reappears, and now I hope that you will understand. There's no such a thing as a gentleman. I was only a child. So sorry, you never told me this before. Why would I? You wouldn't have listened anyway. But sure, there has to be good guys too, like the two boys from the hostel that stole our money yesterday. Oh, Mary Jane, you're so credulous. No, but look at my dad. He's nice. Yes, but you don't want to marry your father, do you? You know what I mean, Peg. But what if there's another alternative? Like what? Like. Oh, just forget it. I'm sorry, Mr. Kosminski. And you are? Oh, it's me, Mr. Huntington, sir. Derek, what are you doing? I'm on my way to the theatre to, to sell my latest composition. It pays the rent, sir. But tell me, is this really a way to make a living? I beg your pardon, sir. Well, if you want to sell something, it has to be something 
that people want, or at least something people need. You see, the world is based on principles, where each and all individual has got the same instinctual and human needs. It would be quite ridiculous if anyone in particular was seen as unpredictable. Everyone agrees. It all comes down to a theory of mine. Survival of the richest. And when a man in delirium can break the great equilibrium due to some cash flow phenomenon, it shakes the ground. We are producers and buyers. It's called demand and suppliers. Our constant hunt for desires makes the world go round. It all comes down to a theory of mine. Survival of the riches. Let's make a deal. Welcome to Let's Make a Deal, Seven Dials, the fastest growing game show in all of London. Today's grand prize is a dandy horse velocipede. Our first contestant is Mrs. Hunt, a prostitute who is short on teeth but long on legs. Our prizes are fantastic, but there are some real hazards hidden as well. So, Mrs. Hunt, will you choose the cash prize or pick a dial? I'm not sure what it is, but I'm going for the dandy horse and I pick Great Earl Street. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Hunt. Great Earl Street gives you cholera. Oh, not again. <laughs> Life is like a market with people who have and people who want. And if you want what I have, and I want what you have, let's make a deal. We all have this fundamental need. Agreed? Every now and then somebody wants what I have, but don't have what I want. You see, they don't fit into the principles. There is no deal, and they mean absolutely nothing. Agreed? Of course, Mr. Kosminski. MJ, there's something I've been meaning to tell you for quite some time now. Sure, Peg. You can tell me anything. It's not that easy. Gathered my courage, now I feel strong. Have I waited too long? Are the moments all gone? Oh, it would be ironic, but surely my fate, when I'm finally ready, I'm always too late. Well, here we go. You know you've always been precious to me Your friend to adore And I know Yes, I know This is a bad time for me to come clear I should have told you before And you might Even think That I haven't been honest with you the day we first met, I sure It is only myself I betrayed But I won't take it no more
Yes, I would have, I should have, I could have for sure But I always choose to defy my own core and forget it, forget it. So I would have, I should have, I could have, you're right But I didn't believe I was up for the fight I regret it, regret it. I should have, I could have, that's true But if I had tried to explain it And you wouldn't get it, get it I wish and I hope for the rest of our lives That we could reside here as husband and wife Now I've said it, said it Suddenly clear I'm in love with a woman But I'm not feeling queer I don't care what the others Might think, say or do The one thing that matters Is my love for you When I close my eyes It is you that I see Almost every night Dreams you appear and your crooked smile when you're smiling at me makes me float away to a whole other sphere. I had no idea. I don't know what to say, Peg. I'm so sorry. Don't be. I understand it's crazy to feel this way, and I never expected you to feel the same. But I wanted to tell you. I can't live lying to myself by hiding from this. Of course you can't. You can distract yourself from your feelings, but you can never hide or take them away. Something Mary used to say? <laughs> no. My mother was a woman of few words and almost no worries. My dad once told me her biggest problem was when someone broke a vase in her shop. She had written a warning on the wall for the customers. If you break it, you bought it. You see, she was a woman with wit. Well, I was wondering where you got that from. Maybe we'd get more money if you lose the scarf. Like some sort of freak? No, no. But maybe they'd give us more money if they pity us. Hey, I won't show my face for any kind of money. There's only one thing that can get me to show what I really look like. Right? And what might that be? True love. When you speak of the devil. Isn't that him? Yes. The devil in my heart. Isn't he handsome? I would have known. talk to him. Are you serious? I mean, come on, what's the worst thing that could happen? I could die. Besides, how else is he ever going to find out about you? Okay. Hey, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yes? You see, I've been thinking, and maybe if I... I, I mean, maybe... 
maybe what? Maybe I could be the one who makes your dreams come true. Maybe if you hear the song, then you'll believe it too. Maybe if I reach the sky, bring the stars and moon to you. Or maybe a kiss from me right now will make you.
to them in search of power and another pound they treat a poor lady like a sick old hound as if life is a race where you need to be first empty purse or soul tell me which is the worst he who seeks only gold as a first so you are drawn to the balls and the cheek and the sphere and you long for your life and luxurious flair when you scratch at the surface and peel off a shell then you soon realize that the city can smell behind the facade which glitters to sing glass there are people who Where's Pig? She's gone. What do you mean, gone? She left. Why? It's complicated. I thought uh, you'd be friends forever. So did I. Well, then we have to find a steady man for you. I appreciate the concern, but why the rush? We never know how long I'll be around. Are you talking about your seizures? Yes. They are coming more often. I'm sure it's going to get better soon. 
But what if it doesn't? What do you mean? Someone has to take care of you when I'm not here anymore. I'll be fine. You have to promise me one thing. No matter how poor you get, you must never sell yourself. But that will give us money for a doctor. Never! Have you ever wondered why we are not using the stairs? Why? We live on top of a brothel. And I'd rather die than having men like that getting close to you. You don't have to worry about the rent. Why is that? For the last years, every week when the rent is due, someone leaves an envelope with money on the window pane. That's crazy. Who would do that? I don't know. Haven't you found out? I wouldn't dare. What if my next seizure will be my last? Then we'll need money for a doctor. My sweet beloved Mary Jane, it seems unfair, I know, but don't be scared. Shaking some more than I can bear It's time for you to be prepared Oh, Father, dear Father I'm sure they'll soon go away You used to tell me of tomorrow rain on today I wish everything I've said was true how carefree life would be too bad but it seems there could be an alternative I believe it's called Reality Dark 
this is a good idea. Of course it is. But what if we scare them and they won't give us any more money? Whoever is doing this obviously likes you. So of course they won't stop giving you money. Hurry up. I heard something. Well, hello there. Oh, it's you. Jack, what are you doing here? Well, you know, I, <clears throat> I was... Uh, um... Are you the one who's been giving us money every week? Okay. But why? Isn't it obvious? Not for me. Tell me, Jack. I can't. Some things you just can't say. Oh, you're just trying to be intriguing. Now why would I do that? Oh, God. Well, I didn't expect to see you here tonight. Do you come here often? I do. I love to watch the sky and the stars. But tonight turned out to be a bit more special. I know what you mean. I'm freezing to death. Can you come in here with a blanket? I really should go. Me too. The old man will go crazy if he discovers that I'm not home. I guess I'll see you around then. I really hope so. Good night, Mary Jane. Good night, Jack. A sudden change in direction And not the one I would choose I always trusted my senses mm, But now my heart is confused All my dreams are illusions They don't keep me alive Since we met I've come to realize I've got to decide If I want to survive I have one million reasons To stay by your side One million reasons Why I should say goodbye I'm used to have all the answers 
And now my life is surreal I've been left in the shadows And the answers will stay unrevealed Like a moon in the morning Or like a thief from behind There you stood and looked straight into my soul with my heart and left me stuck with my mind and it has one million reasons to stay by your side and one million reasons why we should say goodbye but only one reason we can't be just friends that look in your eyes when you smile 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 when you smile And one million reasons why we should say goodbye But only one reason we can't be just friends A look in your eyes when you smile, smile When you smile When you smile But only one reason we can't be just friends I look in your eyes When you smile, smile, smile When you smile What are you looking for? The envelope, with the money! Oh, yes. What? I know where it is. So tell me, Mr. Kasminski will be here any minute. I know who's been leaving them. Who? Me and Peg exposed Jack last night. Who's Jack? It's Mr. Kosminski's son. All these years he's been taking money from his father and giving it to you, and then you've been giving it back to his dad. But why? He wouldn't say. He obviously forgot to leave the envelope last night. Well, do you know where to find him? I really need that money. I think I know where to find him. Hurry! His father will be here soon. I can hear him. Hurry! I'll try to keep him busy as long as possible. Well, hello, Derek, old man. <laughs> Mr. Kosminski! <laughs> you seem happy. Don't you know what day it is? Oh, but of course I do, Mr. Kosminski. Come in, come in. For many years I've been collecting the rent, and I've never been invited before. Well? Then it's about time, isn't it? <coughs> I really don't have time for any social piffle. But surely a man of your rank won't uh, say no to a glass of gin, I suppose? No. What? I mean, yes, thank you. Cheers. So, Derek, um, how is your uh, music going? Ah. <clears throat> Dai da dai da, dai da dai da. No, I mean, are you selling any? Ah. Yes, I've just finished an order from Adelphi Theatre. Oh, really? And I'm convinced they're going to love it. Well, maybe. Oh, some more gin? No, no, I really shouldn't. Oh, oh no, of course. Uh, well, um... <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Kosminski, um, how long have I lived here now? 
It's at least 20 years since you and your wife first came to me. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. It's been uh, 16 years. Today. What about you? Are you married? My angel, my angel passed away. The white plague took a breath one day. I'm sorry, please forgive me. What can I say? Such sorrow, it will never fade. Oh, she was proud, the strongest woman I've ever seen. Though she was strong, she was always kind. She had a heart even bigger than her mind And with a voice so calm and serene Our life is peculiar The Lord he gives us the power to love Then takes love away One can't help but think that we are fighting if it's more blessed to give, so why then take it again? Strange. I just felt a feeling I haven't felt for a long time. What? I, I don't know. I it felt like a sad string of joy. <laughs> it's called caring. What are you talking about? You cared about her. Of course, she loved me. Yes, but caring is different. No more yin for you, my friend. You see, to care about each other is like a second dimension of love. You loved her because she cared about you, and she loved you because you cared about her. And the fact that we care for someone makes us feel humble. And I believe that humble is that feeling you try to describe as a sad string of joy. My friend, you're a genius. You've opened my eyes, made me realize what I've done to myself. To show other people that you care now and then Makes you humble, only then can you be happy again To show other people that you care like a friend When you are modest, gentle and kind When you are helpful, then you will find it makes you humble, and then you will you be happy again? What is it? You forgot to leave the envelope last night, and your father is there to collect the rent right now. Oh. It's embarrassing to say, but our economy depends on your alms. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. But we can't have it like this forever. We could if you would marry me. Is that a proposal? Maybe. <laughs> well, you're one of the few who's already seen me without the scarf. Have I?
man who calls my scar And all the troubles I have had You was never my wish Believe me when I say I had not planned for this And I'm sorry might I add Oh, this is bad This is I tried, but when I looked into your eyes and saw that joy inside, I didn't want to make you mad. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Now listen. Something like that. As the villain in this story, with my remorse in my defense, whatever this beautiful judge may see fit, I'll accept as a fair penance. Mary Jane! Mary Jane! Mary Jane, hurry! Your father is having a seizure. Big one. I'm here, Dad. It's uh, crowded here. We're all here. Tell me, who's that young man? That will be Jack. <clears throat> yes, Jack is my son, and apparently they have uh, become friends together. <laughs> Good one, MJ. Would you do me one last favor? Anything. Take off that scarf so I can see your crooked smile. Leave it off from now on. Let the whole world see the beauty that I see. <laughs> <coughs> I'll go get your glass of water. No, wait. I want you to stay here for a while. Before it's time to say goodbye. The world is waiting now to see what I see. When you're smiling back at me Most of all, 
I'm proud to be your dad And you will always bring me home When I feel sad I want you to stay here for a while You always told me to stand strong Before it's time to say goodbye How will I survive when you're gone? The world is waiting now to see You made me who I want to be When you're smiling back at me It's not the same to smile alone Dad, I'm gonna miss you Well, that's our story. I hope you enjoyed the tour. And for the ones who want to know what happened after that, I can tell you that Mr. Kosminski managed to sell Derek's last composition to a theater in condition that Mary Jane, Peg and Jack should have the leading parts. In fact, I think it's playing right here at the theater next to us. And if we have a look behind the doors, I think we'll be right in time for the last act. good against prissy glances from others Beware though it might impair your own sight If you show them all you really are Then when they judge at least they'll judge you from your real scar Instead of guesses of good or might Nobody I 